And these sand geysers would literally, because of the shaking of the earth, it actually compresses and, and, uh, and pressurizes the aquifers underneath this, this area. And so when you shake this, it, it sinks it down and causes this to pressurize, and then it causes water to squirt up from the aquifers, taking and bringing sand and, and, and so forth up with it. And these sand blows that happened in 1811 and 1812 buried some areas under as much as 20 feet of sand. 3,000 square miles of land just sank, just fell 10 feet. And the Mississippi River came pouring into the depressed area and formed a lake in hours. There were also reports that there were foul vapors and gases and smoke and earthquake lights and so forth, an electrical phenomenon that happened during this time. Although this happened in the, uh, the, in the area of Missouri, these, this sequence of earthquakes was felt all over the entire uh, eastern seaboard of the United States.